Hi guys, today I want to show you how to do printmaking. So the first thing you're gonna do is prep two plates. So take two styrofoam plates and back them in masking tape. You're just gonna put masking tape on the very bottom part of the plate and you're gonna do it in just one even uh, layer. So once you have all the masking tape on the back of your plate, you can smooth it down and then use your scissors to cut out um, the bottom of the plate. And you wanna make two plates. You wanna make two printing plates. And we're only gonna use one right now, but we will use the second one later. So you should have a perfectly flat round circle. Now you should have a couple of sketches in your sketchbook of things you might like to print. And you will want to transfer one of those onto your plate. So I'm drawing on the styrofoam side of the plate and not the tape side. And I am just putting my image onto the plate. I'm making sure that I don't have super small details because it'll be hard for them to show up when I print. Now I'm going over the lines with a ballpoint pen. This is going to push um, some lines into the plate which will make them show up when we print. Now you have to remember only the parts of the plate that are sticking up are going to print when we ink them, okay? So everything that I'm drawing is going to be negative space in the print. Next, I'm gonna cut out my image from my plate. I'm being really careful and going around all the small little areas with a very, very careful touch. This is just gonna give me a really nice, crisp, clean print when I go to print. So next, I'm gonna make two paper masks for my, um, for my plate. So the way I do that is by folding a scrap piece of paper in half and then tracing the shape of my plate onto it. Once I have that done, I'm going to cut through both layers of paper with my scissors and this is gonna give me two identical kind of uh, masks for my plate and we'll use those a little bit later. Next, I'm gonna roll out a flat of ink on my extra foam plate, on my extra styrofoam plate. So the way you do this is you put about a quarter size um, little dollop of paint down and then you're gonna rotate your brayer and rotate your plate so that you get a nice even coat of ink on your brayer. So this is just gonna help us get a really nice smooth application onto our printing plate when it's time to print. So now I'm using the ink on my brayer and rolling it onto my plate. I'm making sure that I get ink on all the spots on my printing plate and then I'm going to get a piece of test paper. This test paper is just a piece of scrap paper. It's computer paper. This is just to make sure that my image looks how I want it to for when I print on my final piece. So I'm gonna really carefully pick this up by the edges and I'm gonna lay it straight down on the paper. I don't want it to move around or else it's gonna get kinda smeary and streaky and we don't want that. I put a cover sheet of paper down and then I use a clean brayer to roll over it with nice, even pressure. This is gonna press the ink onto my test paper and it's gonna give me a really good idea of what my print will look like when I finally do print it onto my final paper. So now I'm gonna peel off my printing plate and check it out. And it looks pretty good. So I know that I can start in on my final paper. So I've inked up my plate, I'm gonna place it down. I am going to grab a cover sheet and my clean brayer. And now I'm just applying even pressure over my plate. And I can pull the plate off to see my first print. I think this is the most exciting part. So I'm being very careful as I pull this off, holding it just by the edges, and my print looks great. So 
I would like you to print a couple of those. And then once you're done with your first color, you're gonna roll out all the excess ink from your brayer onto a big scrap piece of paper. And this just gets it ready to be cleaned so we don't make a big mess. So I got a lot of ink off of there and now I can take it over to the sink and rinse it off. I can also rinse off my printing plate. So both of those need to get the ink rinsed off of them with some water. Next, I'm laying out a flat of my second color. I'm using black and white for this. And I am applying the ink to my plate, getting ready to print my second color. So because I know that uh, my, my printing plate looks good, I don't need to do a test print. I can go straight in to my final print. So now I'm going to decide where I'd like to place my second image. I'm gonna put it upside down next to the first one. And same deal as before, I grab a cover sheet and I grab a clean brayer and I apply even pressure to apply the ink to my final paper. Now I can take my printing plate off my paper and see how my print looks. And it looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna turn my attention to my second printing plate because I'm ready to start in on my backgrounds. So I'm just gonna cut off the rounded edges of my plate and I'm making myself some guidelines now because I'm going to just have a rectangle for this plate. Um, this is so that I can tile it in the background really easily. And I think rectangles and squares tile really nicely. So I'm just gonna trim off the rounded edges so that I have a nice rectangular plate to work with. And then what I'm gonna do is take my rectangular plate and trace it into my sketchbook or onto a scrap piece of paper. And then I'm going to design a background. So I wanna make sure that this background plate that I'm designing can be tiled easily in a continuous pattern. So I am transferring the design that I came up with onto my second printing plate. I've used some um, vertical and horizontal lines to make kind of a grid, which will help it look really um, like continuous in the background of my, of my print. So now I'm gonna use my little paper masks and put them on top of my first two prints. I am loading my printing plate up with a third color of ink and I'm going to print it onto my paper. This is why the masks are so important. They are gonna protect what we've already printed and we can print um, our background tiles onto the back of the um, paper mask and it won't affect our prints. So now it's just a process of loading the plate up with ink lining it up with the last part of the design, putting the cover sheet on, and rolling over it with a clean brayer. Towards the end, I noticed that there were a couple of rows that needed to be done at the bottom and the side, so I just inked up the very edges of my plate, um, and then printed them onto the blank spots. So you can also do this, just make sure that you have um, kind of a paint mat underneath when you're doing it so that you don't uh, get ink on the table. Once you're done, you can peel off your paper masks and check out your final piece. This next part is optional, but I think it's kind of fun. You can take oil pastels and add some little pops of color here and there. 
on your pieces. So I added a little bit of yellow in some places on this piece, and I also added a little bit of white. So this is just a, a time to kind of make final adjustments to your um, prints and just kind of experiment and have fun. Once you're done with this, you will mount it onto either black paper or colorful construction paper, and you're all set. Enjoy, I hope you had fun.